Shall we game? I think we're ready. Oh, I think we're ready to game. We have to check on the weather. Oh, and Queen of Sauce. Okay. Maki roll. Wait. Is Maki roll the thing that's really good to bring to Skull Cavern or was it sashimi? I can't remember which one it was. Either way, I don't have a kitchen yet, so it doesn't really matter. But I like to be on top of things, so. Oh yeah, that's right. It's also the, the trout. The trout festival. So I should try to go fishing. I only have... What was it? I only have like 15 bait left, so I won't be able to use bait for everything, but... Can I make more moss? No, I need regular bait. How do I make regular bait? Bug meat. Do I have bug meat? I do, but not a lot. But I can at least make 15 more deluxe bait. Which would be really good to use. Yeah, so far, I mean, the prizes have been pretty average for me so far, but... Why is this not working? Okay, there we go. Um, I'm gonna see if I can close the door. My cat, like, slammed it open. Oh, thanks, Tony. <laughs> Every time my cats go in and out of my room, they like literally slam the door with their head and push it open as far as they can. Like they have no chill. Olivia doesn't see it as a door. She sees it as a, an open, like, I'm just going to run through here real quick type of attitude. She's like a bull. Yeah, I think spicy eel is good for Skull Cavern too, but... I remember yesterday we were talking about Skull Cavern and a couple of people were talking about sashimi, so. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Teenagers. <laughs> well, okay, I think Rayla's technically a teenager. Olivia's like eight, so. I feel like that's more of an adult in cat years. My cats do the same. They see it as a challenge. Yeah, they're like, oh, is this door really closed? I don't think so. Oh my god. Wait, I thought I had the mod that made it so fences don't decay. Is that something I need to, um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. I have, um, no fence decay mod. So why is it not working? Y'all know. Because my fences, they're decaying, let me tell you. This looks like decay to me. And that's just one thing, one aspect of Stardew Valley that I hate. Is I work so hard to make fences and then they just break one day? Absolutely not. Is it, like, is that mod just supposed to work automatically? Or... Oh, maybe because the day was already loaded. That could be it. You might be on to something. Yeah, the day was already loaded before I had the mod, so that makes a lot of sense. Also, I have the Summer Spangle, which means... I should be able to... make the bundle, the flower bundle. I have a mod in my fences where decaying too. Really? It just works. Fence breaking IRL is also matting. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Summer Spangle. And then yeah, that should be good. I'm just going to keep this sunflower. There's an update yesterday, but yeah, maybe because you already started the day. Yeah, I, uh, I did grab the updated one because I just grabbed it today so I guess we'll check tomorrow and see if any more fences are breaking it's not that deep I'll fix it oh yeah I can turn my alerts back on oh my god Miv thanks for the reminder love you too I'm sorry by the way that um I was spamming you on steam I tried turning it on and off so that it wouldn't spam you anymore <laughs> I, I was having some mod issues today, so. Um, so, so sorry about that. Um, I didn't mind it was cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just like, I bet all my Steam friends hate me right now. 
They're like, what is she doing? I like seeing your little face pop up. Okay, that's true. I do have a cute little face. Oh my gosh, hey! Terry! Says, hey, Shell, thanks for the entertainment. I love having your VODs playing while I study for exams. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, thank you, Cherry. I appreciate it. And um, that's actually a Stardew Valley sticker giveaway. So you guys can type exclamation point enter for a chance to win. So thank you, Cherry. That's so sweet of you. You just reminded them you're there. Okay, there we go. Perfect. All right. Okay, I need to fix those fences. And then I forgot what mood the spirits were in, so I should probably go check that again. Oh, no, 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 no. We are going to go... The trout, the trout is here. So I want to go fishing. That's what we're doing for the rest of the day. Trout fishing. Yes. I remember. I remember now. Your farm is so pretty. Thank you. Your farm is so cute already. Mine is honestly ugly. Wait, I haven't seen yours. I bet it's not as bad as you think it is. But thank you. I'm glad you like my farm. I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's very fancy at the moment, though. I don't know if I'm going to have this many fences, like once things start filling in, but. All right, here we go. Fixing my fences, you better not break again. I haven't tried to make it cute yet. See, normally I don't try to make my farm cute until like winter year one because you don't have to worry about like any crops. So it's kind of like freeing almost. But something possessed me, and I just started working on it. It was crazy. I've never been so motivated. <laughs> it was like the power of, of Stardew possessed me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have this one here. I don't really like that. And then same with that. There we go. Um, okay, can I? I need to look up Fishing Pond. How much does a fishing pond cost in Stardew Valley? Fish pond. Because I do want to get one. 5,000 gold, 200 stone, two seaweed, or five seaweed and five green algae. Let me see if I even have that stuff. Okay. I do not have 200 stone. It will. <laughs> I won't be getting one today because guess what I'm doing? I'm fishing. I have to go do the trout stuff. Also, congratulations to Wee Whimsy for winning the uh, Stardew sticker giveaway from Cherry. Make sure you click on that link to go redeem them. And thank you again, Cherry, for doing that giveaway. That is very, very sweet of you. Oh, I never updated my title, by the way. Um, because I'm not playing with Violet anymore. Let me do... There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm in summer year one right now. Summer year one. Perfect. Okay. And then we're going to go to the trout derby for the rest of the day. You got a diamond from the trout derby? Oh my God. I've gotten a tent. I got some warp totems and I forgot what the third thing was that I got. Nothing too exciting yet, but people keep telling me the rewards are really good. So I'm gonna go again. Here we go. I'm here, the annual trout derby. Did you miss me? Let's go. You got so much cool stuff. Oh, I'm jealous. You're still level zero. Well, if you use a fishing mod like me, you'll get good at fishing real quick. 
Is this your first playthrough? No, this is not. Um, I've done multiple playthroughs, so I've decided to like kind of go all out on the mods. Um, but yeah, this is my first playthrough with the update, if that's what you're asking. I'm on year one and so behind. See, I don't really think there is such thing as being behind in Stardew Valley. Like, I get it, but go at your own pace, you know? Uh, it's called Edie's Fishing Mod. Ooh, I got some deluxe bait and some minnow row. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if minnow row would be very good. I'm on my first playthrough. Fishing is still a pain in the behind. Oh yeah, fishing can be really hard in this game. It's an at your own pace kind of game. Yeah. Wow. Oh my gosh. Rue. Thank you so much for the first time prime sub chat. You know what that means. Enjoy your emotes and your ad free viewing. But most importantly, enjoy your new smile. Thank you. What do I use to make my stickers? Um, I draw them in Procreate. And then I have a merch store on fourth wall. So I don't print them myself. All of the merch that I have goes through a third party. So that way I don't like have to know anybody's personal information. None of that gets exchanged. It's all private. Fishing is easier on mobile. Is it really? I haven't gotten a single like golden tag today, you guys. I normally love fishing in games, but fishing in Stardew makes me want to scream. Yeah. The only thing in our walls is ghost cat or ghost chat. <laughs> Come on, give me a rainbow salmon with a gold tag. I mean, rainbow trout. I'm getting so unlucky. At least I'll have like a lot of money from this. Oops, I thought that was a... And then I guess I need to go get some more rocks because I can't build the the fishing pond yet. Five more deluxe bait. I'll take that. Did you just... Are they judging me for drinking mayo? <gasps> That's so funny. <laughs> I love watching people fish. Something about it is so relaxing. Yeah, it's really fun to watch. I'm trying to get a thousand rocks for Robin and it's taking a while. I bet. <laughs> no, honestly, a lot of people like the Stardew Valley uh fishing mini game. I'm just not one of them. Like, it's not the worst, but when I'm live, if I'm doing the fishing mini game, I can't read chat. You know what I mean? Like, so as a streamer, this just makes it easier for me to like, keep talking to you guys. Otherwise I'd be like, shut up chat. Don't talk to me until the day is over. Today is fishing day. That'd make me sad. Yeah, they're judging me for drinking my egg smoothie. Rainbow trout row, copper ore, and deluxe bait. No golden tags. Am I just getting unlucky? Because, like, everyone's saying, like, oh, yeah, the rewards are great. Go to the trout derby. I've literally, I think I got three gold tags. So I don't know what the deal is with, um, with me not getting it. Also, I have, like, a cat hair in my eye. Super fun. Get out of my eye. Here we go. Still no golden tag. My first day was like that, but my second day was better. Yeah, this is my second day, so I don't know. Oh yeah, I don't have trout bait. I'm just using regular bait, so... How do I make trout bait?
Am I level six fishing? I'm level nine fishing. I guess I just don't know how to make trout bait. That's fair, Saki. Watching all the Stardew content makes me want to get Stardew. I mean... Oh, I need the bait machine. Uh, okay, so I should make a bait machine. Is, is there going to be more trout derbies in the future? Join us, thrive. Just in the spring. Oh, well, I'm in the summer right now. Hmm. Oh, Willie sells bait for the last fish you caught from the shop on his beach. Okay. Good to know for the future. I seriously, I'm not getting a single tag. Getting a lot of stuff to sell, though. Um, the gameplay isn't different really at all, Red Devil. The only difference is, like, you have the option to, like, share money. Um, and you can't really pause the game if you go into your inventory like you can in single player. In multiplayer, the time will just keep running. That's, like, the only difference. I really like playing multiplayer saves. I bet I'll end up with the fishing mod. <laughs> You might. I got one tag! Three Omni Geodes? Bro, that was not worth fishing all day. Chat, you told me these prizes were good. You can also nap in multiplayer? Yes. You're gonna buy this game? I recommend this game. Even at full price, I recommend it, but it does go on sale a lot, so. There we go. Yeah, no, it's definitely not the fishing mod messing with it because I've gotten tags. I think I'm just getting unlucky. I believe it's on sale right now. Oh, is it? Because I looked yesterday and the sale had ended. Is there another one? I would be very surprised. But this game does go on sale all the time, so. All right, well, I'm just gonna take all my fish and go sell them. I don't think I need any of these for a bundle, so. Still made a decent amount of money. Oh, you must have gotten it on the last day. Lucky, lucky. All right, let's get my row in there. Do I need any of these? Okay, I already have sunfish in there. Don't need a minnow, chub, dorado, pike, rainbow trout. Bream, okay, I already have bream in there. So I can sell all of these. Dang, not bad. Not an expensive game, which is nice. Yeah, it's relatively cheap for, like, the amount of stuff you get. And every update has been free as well. Which is another thing I really respect. From Mr. Concerned Ape. I think I've already had glass shards, so I will sell that. There we go. Night night time. Oh, I didn't check my cows today. I just realized that. That's my bad. I can make seafoam pudding. <laughs> There's enough content in Stardew to justify $80 in my opinion, so it is cheap.
Yeah, honestly, Dawn, if you look at it that way. Hi, Helga, how are you? Hello. Okay. Here we go. Spirits are very happy today. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Yay! Okay, um, I would love to go and get a fishing pond today, but I think I need to get a bunch of rocks before Robin closes. And I don't know when Robin closes. So we love Concerned Ape. Yes, we do. I can't wait to play with my friend. I've never played multiplayer. Oh, it's so fun. You're going to love it. You named your first cow Mulan. Oh my god, yeah. I forgot to feed them yesterday. I'm sorry. I was fishing. I'm sorry. I did not mean to. Okay, she closes at four. All right, I think I'm going to go to the mines first then. Go try to get the rocks and then I'll come home and water everything. So I'm doing something in reverse to how I would normally do it. Kind of stressful. What are my cow's names? Um, we have Mushu, Mulan, Maleficent, and Moana. They're all Disney related cow names. There we go. We need the LG too. Oh yeah, I should grab that. Okay, got my rocks, and then I need five green algae, oops, five seaweed. Yeah, I pretty much just need 110 rocks. Right, wait, was it 200 or 300? Oh no, I don't remember. I wonder how much rocks cost from Robin. It might be cheaper, well, not cheaper, but it might be more efficient to just buy them from her. Any advice for a newbie? I'm scared it'll be hard to start. Ooh, that's a good question. Chat, do you have any advice for a new Stardew Valley player? My advice is to just like follow the quests and stuff. Not open yet. Follow the quests, use the Stardew Valley wiki if you need to. Hi Kayla, it's been going good, how are you? Here we go. Don't stress, hoard a little bit of everything. Oof. All right, let's go to the mines. I'm here for rocks. Not be intimidated by how good streamers are. They have lots of practice. <laughs> That's true too. One day at a time. That's a good way. Hi. Yeah. All right, one second, chat. Okay. All right. Okay. I can tell you guys what's going on now because we found the problem. Um, so our basement is flooding. There's been a lot of snow recently. So our basement is actively flooding. You might be like, why are you still streaming? What am I going to do about that? Um, and it turns out our sump pump is not working. So 
they're gonna we're paying a lot of money to get someone out here asap to try to get that fixed um if you don't know what a sump pump is it basically uh make sure because there's a lot of snow it just pumps the water out so the house doesn't flood Bunker down. We are so yeah that's what we're dealing with right now <laughs> hi bella thank you for the raid welcome in hello how are you how is your stream <sighs> oh my god not overrun by monsters i don't want to be here i'm gonna go to a different floor i'm looking for rocks specifically yeah sump issues are the worst so we're paying a, a lot of money to get someone out here literally today um but yeah i just didn't want to talk about it until we knew what the problem was because i didn't i just didn't want to deal with that but now we know but yeah pretty much like half of our bedroom is like we have carpet and it's very soaked like completely soaked through the carpet um in half of our bedroom so i was down there helping move like our nightstands and our like clothes and stuff out of the way because it's like basically flooded yeah no you can call me soggy shella now because i that's true i'm soggy <laughs> the house is soggy it matches the name um oh that's awesome I love makeover stuff in The Sims. Well, I hope you had a good stream, Bella. <laughs> Sorry, you came in at a weird time. Um, but I'm playing Stardew Valley today, so thanks for raiding me. I'm just not having a good day right now, so. <laughs> We're just gonna farm. Okay, I almost have 200 stones. I'm trying to get enough stones to get a fish pond today. Yes, we are having a lot of fun in 1.6. At least I am. Yeah, I live in a swamp now, pretty much. The soggiest of shellas. All right, it's 200, right? If it's 300, I'm gonna cry. Okay, 200 stone. All right, I'm going to Robin to go buy a fishing pond. Thank you, everyone. <sighs> This is our first winter. It's it's spring. But this is the first time we've had to deal with this. We're first time homeowners and it's our first like big snow. So we had no idea. I don't even know how old our sump pump is. I'm going to be honest with you coming from Texas. We don't have sump pumps, so I don't even know like fully how it works. All I know is that it is supposed to prevent flooding. So if it's not working, then flooding happens surprise i guess um yeah i like had no idea what an introduction to house owning yeah it's so soaked though you guys that i think we're gonna have to redo like the base like the trim we have a wooden trim on the bottom of our walls i think we're gonna have to redo that oh my god i didn't go to robin <gasps> i'm an idiot hi i here in about an hour an hour okay so just so you know Oh my god, yeah. Is that even I legal? don't even you do not need to apologize for this. I will just get off of stream if it's too loud. Like I'm not gonna tell you to stop fixing our house from flooding because I'm playing Stardew Valley. Do you imagine? Like, can you actually not do that right now? I'm I'm farming. Yeah. I'm gonna call somebody. Okay. Okay. Tony, can you uh, not have the guy come over? <gasps> Look at this. Is this not the sexiest thing you've ever seen in your life? <sighs> that was so sexy. I'm so turned on by that. <laughs> that was so perfect. Oh my God, really? Okay, Megan, we'll have to look into that. Literally craigasm. Yeah, I'm I'm grateful that Tony is here to help take care of things. Like obviously if it came down to it, 
I would make the phone calls, but he knows that I get very overwhelmed and stressed out about it, so that's why he's dealing with it. I'm grateful to him. Oh my gosh, Fern Baby, that's awesome! My reaction to that is inappropriate for Twitch. <laughs> Hmm. But yeah, so in an hour, they're going to come and start working. And if it's like too loud to where the stream quality is not good enough for you guys to watch, I will end stream. But just keep me. It will be like on you guys. You'll you'll just have to let me know if it sounds too bad. Also, Helga, thank you so much for continuing your gifted sub for two months. I I don't even know how much a sump pump, pump fix uh, would cost, but I think I'm happy to know that it's not working right now. Because if, if the pump was working and our house was flooding, I'd be like, what the heck is going on? You know what I mean? So in a way, it's comforting that it's broken. I don't know if that fully makes sense. And... We like drywalled it off, so Tony had to knock down a wall to get to it, to look at it. <laughs> like, crazy stuff is happening. <laughs> also, Staunchly, thank you for the bits. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. That's so fun. You know what's so fun about this? The fact that I'm about to have to pay in an ex a huge amount of money for taxes, and now I'm going to have to pay for a sump pump. I think that's so girly pop. So adult so slay <laughs> oh my god that's why i like playing stardew valley because i can just be in my happy little happy little farm world where everything's okay i know home ownership is so fun you guys so fun yeah knowing the problem takes away stress exactly i'm honestly i feel a lot better right now knowing what it is and the fact that someone's on their way to take a look at it I can function. I'm fine. I've also dealt with a house flooding before. Um, when I was in, what grade was I in? I was in eighth grade, right? Um, my parents' bathroom toilet exploded and no one was home. So the toilet was just constantly bringing in overflowing with water for about three hours. Um, Cause like we were at school, I think my mom was out running errands and stuff and their toilet is on the second floor. So not only did it flood a whole bunch of the top story of our house, it started like leaking down through the air vents and like all of that stuff and ruined like the floor beneath it. Like, my mom said she came home and it was like there were waterfalls coming out of our ceiling. Like, that's really distressing. So, the fact that the issue I'm dealing with right now is nothing compared to that, I'm like, it's whatever. You know? <laughs> Been there, done that. Also, Triple, thank you so much for the five-month resub. Thank you. I should consider buying some merch to support you replacing that pump. I mean, yeah. That's definitely why you should buy the merch. Like, definitely why. Like, great, great reason. If you need an excuse to buy it, like, it's helping me replace my sump pump. <laughs> that can be a reason. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Okay. Buy a sweater. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a good joke. Anyways. Robin is, I just ordered a fishing pond. Say less, thanks for the excuse. You're literally so welcome. Hope this helps. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Would you ever make Stardew merch? I made some Stardew stickers. I don't know about Stardew merch though. I don't know. Oh, your Barbies got wet? No, that's the worst. <gasps> Why 
What is this? Huh? Mystery boxes can now be found. Found where? Who was that blue person? That seems new. Anywhere. Oh, I, you don't understand. I'm a goblin, but I am feral for loot boxes. Absolutely feral. Oh my gosh, Kayla! Thank you for gifting the Stardew stickers to the chat. Thank you so much. Exclamation point, enter. Dump pump giveaway, anyone? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, they can be found in dig spots and stuff. All right, I'll be digging. If you need me. Yeah, I also need a couple of those boxes for my bundles, but maybe I can open one. I'm mad that I have those, that, that bundle. They want to steal my boxes from me. Chopping trees, mining, digging, and maybe more give the boxes. Oh, that's so exciting. Does that always happen on, on summer day 23? Is that just like the trigger for that event? Or is that like a random thing? You can get them in fishing treasure too. Oh my God. That's really exciting. I don't think it's an expanded thing. I think it's a part of the new update. No, I think it's new. It's a random day. Is it like, so is that like a lucky random event? Fifty days after getting the second prize with a ticket. I don't think I've gotten the second prize with a ticket though. I've gotten one. Happened to you earlier too. Hmm. New event, okay. Well, that's so exciting. I love loot boxes. If a game gives me loot boxes, I'll play it forever. 50 days or after getting the second prize. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Well, yippee to me, I suppose. Yippee, yippee. And I'm building the pond right here, not only because it fits there perfectly, but also I won't have to go as far to fill up my watering can anymore. Big brain maneuvers. Oh, and we got some oak resin. That means I can make a cake now. Big day. Okay, chat, we have to give Shella loot boxes. Yeah, do you guys mind? I would like some loot boxes, please. Congratulations to Vesting Veil vale for winning that sticker giveaway. Thank you again so much, Simply Kayla, for doing a sticker giveaway for my sump pump. Let's go. <laughs> That's so nice of you. Hello, are you guys happier now? Oh my god, I think they're old. Shoot, and of course the day that they grow up, I didn't buy a milk pail, because it's Tuesday, I can't buy one. Curse you, Marnie. Ugh. All right, let me put the hops in there. And then... To make a keg, I need 30 wood, copper, iron, and oak resin. All right, let's do it. Keg. Now I have one keg. Perfect. Oh, 
no, no. I guess I'll just start by putting it here. <gasps> oh my gosh! 19 inches, local Nomi? Oh, well, thank you. And thank you for the bits. That is so kind of you. You do not need to do that. Thank you, though. I do appreciate your, like, kind words as well. I'm sure that plenty of people have had to go through, like, house flooding issues before, but it is very nice to, like, you know, have support in that, that matter. Thank you. Very, very sweet of you. Yeah, um, so we managed to get everything figured out. What the heck, Nadine? Thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but we did, we managed to get, um, Violet's, Violet's game connected to mine. It turns out it was an issue with some of our mods. And we still haven't narrowed down to which mod it is. Um, but it, it was a mod issue, so... Thank you. Seriously, Nadine. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to go into town and get these geodes cracked. And then I might just go mining. I'm yearning for the mines today. Yeah, I'm glad it was figured out too. Oh, I can also finish the flower bundle. I'm gonna go turn that in. So glad it wasn't the save file, right? I was freaking out that the save file got corrupted. It was a crazy day of like, <laughs> I don't know. I hope so. Thank you, Fitzy, for the 100 bits. I don't know. There we go. Yeah. IRL, the, the spirits are not in a good mood for me, personally. Um, they're very displeased. I don't know what I did to piss them off. Okay, here we go. Starting bundle. Woohoo! Reward for the greenhouse. Oh, I'll take a quality sprinkler any day. Thank you. Thanks, silly kids. It's okay. I'm honestly like... I'm not as stressed. I'm probably not as stressed as I should be. And maybe that's just my anxiety medication working. No. So. <laughs> Who knows? Oh my gosh, hey, Moon Witch, wait! Thank you for using your Prime on me! Can we get some love and hype and chat for that first time Prime sub? You also know what that means. Enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing, but most importantly of all, enjoy your new smile. Very good. Let me just open all of these really quick. <gasps> no way! Iridium! I can finish the mine carts! Oh my god! That was so lucky! I can finish the mine carts, you guys! Oh my god, let's freaking go. Right. Yeah, at least the Stardew spirits are being nice to me. Hi, Haley. What? No, I didn't want to eat that. So embarrassing. <laughs> Can you imagine walking up to someone with a flower and just going, hum, <laughs> and eating it in front of them as fast as you can? You named your cows after us? Oh my god, thank you. Yeah, I think the glass display cases came with Stardew Valley Expanded. Also, 
Oh, I noticed that this path is here now. So I guess I do have Grandpa's farm installed. Is there something down there that I'm supposed to do? Who do I want to marry in this save? I want to marry Sophia. Oh, there's a cutscene. That's it. Okay. Bring Demetrius a melon. It normally opens a quest line. Okay, I don't have a quest line, so. I don't know, it might be broken because I didn't have this when I first started the save file. I still don't know how I have it now. You get the stab emote now? Yes! You're so welcome. Have fun stabbing! Stab responsibly! Okay, I do need to make a couple more refined quartz, I think. I think I need two more. Um, and then I can turn in the bundle. Oh, the next day. Okay. I will keep my eyes peeled for it then. Wait, shoot. No. Um, I don't think I can get the mine carts yet. Because I still don't have a battery pack. Even though I have my lightning rods... I haven't had another lightning storm, so, like, we're still being edged. Not ideal. I thought we had it, never mind. It was weird, though, because it was like a lightning storm the other day. You had two, didn't you? Oh, wait, no, there is a battery pack. What the heck? I do have one. Is it just one that I need? Hold on. Oh my god, wait, we can't do it! <laughs> Woo! We went on a little bit of a journey there. I did have one. I was like, I thought I remember that. I guess I just didn't organize it very well. Yay, yippee, yippee. Great. I think I'm going to move my... Um, mayonnaise makers over here. There we go. Hi. Hi. What's the update? All right. Sorry, chat. Oh my God, look, it let me put a path here. Do you remember how that wasn't letting me do that last time? And I was like losing my mind. Game's haunted. Okay, let's go unlock the minecarts. Yay. Okay, I wasn't thinking we were going to be able to do this for a while because of the um, iridium ore being one of the requirements. So this is really exciting. Oof, good day for us. This is the honestly the best thing that's happened to me today. <laughs> I was getting the iridium ore. So also I think Rayla is in her cat tree, so. Yeah, there we go. We have Rayla cam on. You've never unlocked the minecarts? Oh my god, they're like my favorite thing to unlock because um, it's basically like unlocking fast travel. This is going to be the first bundle I fully complete. Blink, blink, blink. Yippee, yippee. You've never unlocked this. So you're excited to see it. You guys are going to be like, oh, I should unlock that now. They love me. Isn't he supposed to be holding a star? They're so cute. They're just little guys. Where's the star? Oh, there we go. You have to go get it. 
I understand. It's kind of heavy, isn't it? Yay! Thank you! Bye, Junimos. Yeah, minecarts and the bus. And then the greenhouse are my top ones to unlock. You've also never unlocked Ginger Island. Ooh. I've unlocked Ginger Island, but I haven't gotten too far on it before. You want an IRL plushie of Junimos? I'm pretty sure that you can find one. Um, I think I've seen some on like Amazon. Oh yeah, like Etsy and stuff too. Got seen with furnaces. Nice. Yeah, like Etsy's gotta have some. Etsy has everything. <laughs> Okay, and then to make a pale ale, is it hops? I think so, because I need to make a pale ale for Pam. So I'm going to do that really quick. Start brewing. And then... I feel like I'm going to put my super cucumber into the, um, the pond. I, I guess I should probably look up, like, what's the best thing to put into the pond. Oh, and I could get some hardwood to make a, a worm bin or a bait maker. Okay, iron, coral, and sea urchin. I do want to make a bait maker. So that I can get the fish I need. I guess it would have been smart of me to, um, not get rid of all of the <laughs> rainbow trout that I had looking back, but that's okay. You make little crochet junimos and the amount of people who don't know what they are at markets make you sad. What? How do these people not know what junimos are? That is sad. I would be sad too. Okay. Got a cat dad sweatshirt on Etsy. Nice. All right. Um, I'm going to go collect hard wood. I need to remember to do that a little bit more frequently. I think that there's one stump over here. I can get to the hidden forest because of expanded, so I'll have to go there. There we go. Then I guess I'll just go to sleep. And then remind me, chat, tomorrow I need to go to Marnie's so I can get a milk bucket. Here we go. Minecarts getting repaired. Thank you, little buddies. Thank goodness. I can also make coffee now. Is Rayla being cute? Hi, Rayla. <laughs> I think she's a little stressed out. Spirits are annoyed today. It's gonna be clear and sunny. Oh, bye, Rayla. Perfect. Okay. My fish pond is here. Okay, I need to look up what the best fish to put in a fish pond is. I feel like sea cucumbers, someone told me that they can give you iridium. That's why I wanted to put that one in right now. And then eventually I want to do lava eels so I can make like the lucky... What is it? Like the eel dinner? You know what I'm talking about. She's just staring. Cute. 
Where's the last chicken? Chicken? Oh, there it is. Spicy eel. Yeah, that's the one. Hello, cows. Yeah, that's so weird. There is something definitely wrong with, like, the mod that's supposed to change the cows and the chickens. I'm not sure what I did wrong. I might need to just watch, like, a tutorial on how to get that set up. Hey, boy mama, how are you? All right, take care of my crops. We got some tomatoes. Definitely going to be making a lot of money. I feel like the end of summer is when you finally start getting rich in this game. Um, we're not playing Among Us this month, but we're playing on April 1st. So it's technically not this month. But yeah, we'll be playing on Monday. Monday, April Fool's Day. I'm excited too. Let's water everything. Oh my god, and I don't have to go as far now because the pond is set up. Oh, it's looking so beautiful. Okay. Thanks, Megan. Man, this sucks. We are gonna relax tonight. And watch The Bachelor. <laughs> Not anymore. Arms looking great. Oh, thank you. Oh no, I'm out of water. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my god, that's so nice. And yeah, I. I didn't want to build a well because I still feel like a well is a waste of space. So this is a good solution to our problems. Oh, it'll be the first time you watch a live. Nice. Also, thanks, Sunkiss Simmer. Having a good time on the farm. No. I would love to upgrade my watering can again, but I don't think I can. Okay, I'll put this super cucumber in there now then. I can always move it if I need to. I think that's fair. There we go. Yay! Aw, thanks boy mama, I appreciate it. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm doing good. How are you? Welcome in. Um. There we go. Okay, I need to go buy a milk bucket. Oh my god, look, I see it in there. It's scary. Rainbow trout can give prismatic shards at higher population levels, but they don't reproduce on their own. Oh, so I'd have it to catch a bunch and put them in. Okay, well, that's not the end of the world. Also, I think today I want to go fishing um, in that river that Willie told me about. Oh, hi, Mayor Lewis. I'm just here to make sure all of Marnie's business needs are met. Just business need meets, Mayor Lewis. You sure about that? Oh, I could get a cat tree. I shouldn't do that. Hey, witch, how are you? All right, so I have my milk bucket. I'm probably gonna wanna like put a chest in there. I don't have to carry it everywhere. Let's 
Let's make some more row. And then let me just make a chest really quick. And then I'm going to go fishing. There we go. Sleepy, how's everybody else? I'm feeling pretty sleepy today too. Despite everything that's been happening. <laughs> that's not where I wanted that. All right, get ready to be milked. Now I just need to start investing in some cheese makers, which I'm really low on stone and I need some more hardwood. So I think for now I'll just sell the milk. I would love to get like another um, delivery, like selling crate. I think I get one later. Okay. Wait, did I sell all of my golden mayonnaise? I'm just now realizing I don't have it in my inventory, which means I probably sold it. When the heck did I do that? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, I had like 30 golden mayonnaise. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. I just have to start from scratch again. I must have not noticed. It's not the end of the world. Could be worse. You've been on a starter rampage since you got it? Oh my gosh, have you been enjoying it? Okay. My uh my Twitch moderators are posting my mods in the chat, so make sure you're reading it. Um because the links are all there. They got you. I want to nap so bad, but I must homework. Oh no. I also want to nap. Same here. Okay. Very serotonin. That's good. All right. I'm going to go to that river that Willie told me about. You're getting fishing advertisements because of me? Whoa, 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 whoa. What about me? It gives you fishing advertisement energy. Wait, what's that? There's just a sword here. Ancient sword. Oh, it's an artifact. What the heck? Bye, Sanjali. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, okay. So rainbow trout can reproduce. That's good to know. Good to know. Hi, Potato Bear. There's a few swords in the forest. Yeah, I just haven't found any of them. All right, let's see if I can catch anything good. Let's do this. I've used my last piece of bait. I mean, I could put rainbow trout in my uh, <laughs> pond now for the iridium or for the prismatic shard. I feel like <sighs> iridium is better than a prismatic shard though, right? Thank you for convincing me to get started with legend. You're welcome, Gray. You're welcome. Down to my right, there might be a sword. Okay, I'll have to take a look. Yeah, you can swap them out. Thank you, Gray, for the 14 months. Yeah, the I think the puppy fish is part of Expanded. I'm looking for a king salmon that's supposed to be here. Hi, 
Hi, Mo. How are you? All right. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. I have been better, but I'm in my happy little my happy little farm right now. Doing happy little farm things. All in all, I just love hanging out with you guys, so. Did freaking what's his face lie to me, Willie? About the fish here? Willie, I don't see no King Salmon. What's up with that? Uh, we, we didn't really get to play together. We spent most of our time together, like, figuring out what was wrong. We managed to get into the game again. So we, like, finished the day. And then we decided to, like, reconnect next week. Oh, there we go. I got King Salmon. It was just a lot for both of us, so. We decided to call it. Yeah, thanks, Mo. The butterfish? Yeah, I think the butterfish is also from Expanded, so. Or Tony. He's also trying to work right now, too. We're both working, so. There we go. Cozy. Also, I noticed that none of my fences were breaking anymore, so I think that the fence decay mod is working. It was just because I had loaded into this day already. Without the mod? A bull trout. Now, what the heck is a bull trout? What is that going to give me? I think I'm going to start heading back at like 10, 30, 11. Just because of how long of a walk it is from here. Another bull trout. It's a trout that's a Taurus. Oh my god. A lionfish would be for Leos. And lionfish are real, so... Oh no, I have too much in my inventory. I guess I'll be my last fish then. Um, I might honestly end stream here in about an hour. If we have someone coming over to, uh... Oh, there's more. We have someone coming over to work on our house. There's a couple of issues. So, um... I'm probably gonna have to end the stream when they get here. So it'll be a little bit of a shorter Stardew Valley session than normal. Um, which I apologize for. Because I would have loved to stay on for like most of the day. I guess they're both fish now. Yeah, you have to let them know. Sorry kids, you're both fish. Yeah. You guys are too sweet. Okay, I'm gonna make it back. I'm not gonna pass out today. That's true, I have been streaming very long this week. The thing is, is that I want to play Stardew Valley longer, so, like, I don't know. Maybe if things go well, I can stream again tonight, or I guess I'll be playing tomorrow. Maybe I'll stream a bit longer tomorrow, then. I kept thinking today was Wednesday, but today is, in fact, Tuesday. So I do have tomorrow. Hi. Hi. What's up? You need me to mute?
Okay. All right, so I'm gonna see if I need any of these. Thanks, Ford. Okay, I don't need a bull trout. Okay, do you guys think I should put the rainbow trout in there instead of the super cucumber? Yeah, I already have a bream. Don't, do I need a large mouth? Okay, I do need a large mouth bass, but I already have one in there. Oh, thank you, Mo. Yeah, I have been doing some long streams recently. <laughs> I've just been having fun hanging out with everyone. You know how it is. Yeah, the king salmon is going to be worth a lot of money. I'm going to make a chungus amount of money here. I'll at least put one of the rainbow trout in there so I can make some trout bait for next time. Oh, that was really fast. It's already done making it. Um, I don't know. I, I'll leave the super cucumber in there for now, I think. Good night. I got to farming level nine so I can make a seed maker now. Iridium sprinklers and quality fertilizer. <laughs> the markup table oh my gosh okay how much was the the king salmon was 1031 simoleons oh my gosh i made eighteen thousand dollars you guys i think i'm rich now someone's knocking on the front door hello hey shella I'm about to check the structural integrity of that abandoned shed on your property. I'm licensed by the Ferngill Republic Building Association to make sure abandoned buildings aren't on the verge of collapsing. Oh no. If you have a moment, you can watch my inspection process. Okay. Oh, here we go. Hmm. I could actually refurbish the shed if I had the materials. It'd be a challenge, that's for sure. Visit me at my workshop and we can talk more about specifics. Yay! Okay, this must be grandpa's shed thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I could get, maybe I could get a horse now. I think the horse is like a hundred hardwood though, is it not? Oh boy, spirits are displeased, okay. Yes, okay, thunder and lightning is expected. That's good, I need thunder and lightning. I want to play this, but at the same time, I feel burned out on farming games. Oh no! George wants a hot pepper. I can get that for him. Well, this game is, in fact, about farming, so... If you are burned out, probably not a good idea to play it at the moment. I feel that, though. There's so many farming games going around. It can be a little bit overwhelming at some times. Hi, Anna. I'm good. How are you? Okay, I have rainbow trout bait now. I also have... Um, pale ale for Pam. I can get a hot pepper for George. I'm really rich. Okay, hot pepper for George. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, my Instagram is Rochella. Whoa! Oh my god, wait! I didn't even see it! Do you guys see this melon? <laughs> I have a jumbo melon on my farm! That happens sometimes if you buy- if you build, um... Not if you build. If you plant crops in a 3x3 three three pattern, sometimes you can get ginormous crops. Which is why I always plant my melons like that. I think it's melons and pumpkins do that, and cauliflower maybe. 
Dang. That's the biggest melon I've ever seen. It reminds you of Miv's outfit. Oh my god. That's not rude. I think it's accurate. I forget if I'm supposed to leave the giant crops or if I'm supposed to break them right away. What's the strategy on that? Oh, there are new huge crops? Ooh, that's exciting. It's so big. I need one more golden melon, by the way, for my uh, quality crop bundle. Yeah, no worries, no worries. You've never seen a, a huge crop before, yeah. I feel like it's kind of a not very well known thing about Stardew Valley. You must make bank with all those crops. I never care too much for having a lot of crops, often. So I often have to fish to make money. Oh yeah, I mean, you can see how rich I am right now. But I do make a lot of money with all these crops. Uh, as far as I know, huge crops just yield like 20 plus instead of 9, but I've never left it. I'm going to look it up really quick before I break it. I have four golden melons. Yay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Lee, I hope that you feel better soon. I'm just going to close my door really quick, guys. Oh my gosh, there's so many, so many interruptions today. So sorry, everyone. So sorry. I love how organized your farm is. It looks so pretty. Thank you. Okay, yeah, these crops are rare. So let me look up giant, Stardew Valley giant crop. What do they do? At the start of each day, every possible three by three grid of crops has a 1% chance to grow into a giant crop as long as the crop center is fully grown and watered and all constituent crops are of the same type. Giant crops won't necessarily appear on the day of the crop finishing growing and it can happen any day those crops, any day the criteria is met. Um... I don't think that there's any reason to keep them. It's just that if you keep them, they'll just never disappear. Pretty much. So, like, I could just have that melon forever. But, like, what's the point of that? So, um, how do I, uh, how do I harvest my giant melon? Is it, I think, with an axe, right? Okay. Well, here we go. Gonna chop it down. Give me all the melons. Oh my god, that broke into 20 melons. That is crazy. Do you guys see that? Wow. 5,000. Not bad. Cool. Cool. R.I.P. Giant Melon. Wow, definitely got my money worth on that one. Yeah, it did undo the tiling. That's okay. Or the tilling. All right. Um, okay, it's the 25th, so I don't think I'm going to plant anything else in that section. I'll probably just get ready for pumpkins here. So that I can try to get giant crops again. Oh my gosh. NZ stone. Farming is going great. I'm sorry that you had to do that today though. That seems really stressful. Farming is going great though. Did I need some of the gold melons? Oh my god. Did I sell them again? Did I, did I just do what I... 
I might have to restart the day if I did that. <laughs> yeah, I need those golden melons. <laughs> Rochelle, you did it again! <laughs> That's the second time I've accidentally sold some of the golden crops that I need for my, like, my bundle. Okay, we already saw this cutscene, so I'm gonna skip it. Thank you. Silly Shella. Okay, storm is approaching. Good news for us. Giant melon! I hate doing that, yeah. That was my bad. I just, you know what? I'm going to blame chat. I was talking to chat. You guys directed me. How could you do this? It's your fault, chat. It's your fault. All your fault. Okay. Let me just take care of my champions. How did farming with Violet go? Um, we had a lot of issues with mods, so we didn't really get to farm at all, but we figured out we were able to connect in the end. And then we decided uh to, to try again next week. But yeah, we had we just had a lot of mod issues. Unfortunate. Okay. Time for milkies! I still need to go buy the grass recipe so I can at least like make grass for them. Maybe I'll do that today. I think I will. And then I need to work on getting hardwood. There's so many things I need to do. Being a farmer is hard. That's okay. Even though I didn't manage to have fun playing with Violet today, we decided to switch gears and uh, play in our single player file. And so far, I managed to get the minecarts unlocked, which pretty happy about that. And we got a giant melon. Not to brag. Oh, my inventory is full. Well, shoot. Let me just sell all of this that I don't need. It's honest work. Hi, Miles. It's good to see you. Welcome in. No, wrong way. I saw your watering can TikTok. I loved it. Oh, yeah. I just posted that one, didn't I? Thank you. Oh my god, yeah, I could get the upgraded backpack. Wait, you're so right, Dawn. I should do that today. I could get the upgraded backpack and grass seed recipe. I think that's what I will spend my money on right now. I would love to get a horse, but I need more hardwood for that. I also need hardwood for a lot of the like farming machines I need, so... I think after going to Pierre's, I'm going to go to the Hidden Forest for hardwood stuff. Woo! Look at all the melons. Uh, this time, I'm going to immediately go and put one golden melon in here so I don't forget. There we go. Now I can sell the rest of them. Perfect! Aw, Psychic, that's so sweet. Thank you. I hope the same for you as well. Very good. And then I do want to make another pale ale, so I'm gonna grab that. And then I got maple syrup. I think I can actually make a an apiary now with the maple syrup. So I might look into that. Yeah, I need maple syrup iron bar, coal, and wood. So I can make a, I can make a bee house. Maybe I, maybe I will do that. Yeah, 
Yeah. I think that's a cute and fun idea. There we go. I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, and then I needed a hot pepper for George's knee. And then... Okay. There we go. Oh, I've had a glitch like that recently where random objects just catch fire. Yeah, I don't really know what's causing it, though. It is a very weird issue. I do have to say. I guess I'll just put the apiary there for now. Oh, you had issues getting Smappy downloaded? I'm sorry. Yeah, modding Stardew Valley, as I learned today, can be kind of strenuous sometimes. Definitely ran into a lot of issues today, so sorry that that happened to you as well. Okay, so on our list of things to do today, we are going to go into town. We are going to buy our bigger backpack and the grass recipe. And then I'm going to go to Gunther and give him the ancient sword. And then we're going to go to the woods and try to get some hard hardwood. Actually, I could show you guys the mine carts. A lot of you were saying like, oh, I've never seen the mine carts before. So. Boom. I am here. Definitely worth getting the mine carts. <laughs> get fast travel points. Hi Gunther, here you go. Ancient sword. Guess I'll just put that like over here. Yay! Oh yeah, I would definitely recommend if you've never played Stardew before to not play with mods first. So. Okay. Hello, Elliot. Stay back. I'm trying to dig through the trash. An emerald. I'll try. I don't know if I'll be able to get one, though. Hi, Pierre. I'm here to buy... Um, the grass starter recipe. And then I guess I'll just sell those to you. Oh, did I accidentally just buy an apple sapling? I mean, that's fine. I was trying to hit X, but whatever. I have money. And the bigger sack. Yeah, I'm going to try to romance Sophia. I do need apples, so I should probably plant this, to be honest with you. Um, oh, yeah. Where's Pam? Why does Sophia? Oh, yeah, because I have a quest for her. Um, Pam is at Joja March. Okay, I'll go to Pam and George. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Can't talk right now. What do you mean? I have your pepper. Took you long enough. Whatever, George. Whatever, George. Yeah, I need, uh, I have the fodder bundle, so I do need apples for that. I just don't know the best place to plant, um, fruit trees yet. I do have a question, though. I feel like I saw something where they made it so that you can, like, get fruit tree saplings. So it's not, like, detrimental if you need to move your fruit tree in the future. You can just grow a new one. Is that something that came with the update? Oh, uh, I got the bats in the cave. The bat cave. Yes? Okay. Well, that's a lot less pressure then. So I guess I'll just grow the apple tree wherever I want right now. And then I have to figure out... You get a sapling if you cut it down. Okay. That's good news. So you do lose, like a month of growing something, but if you cut it down, do you have to wait until it's like fully grown? 
to to get the sapling. I feel like that would make sense to me. Like you only get a sapling if it's a fully grown fruit tree. Okay. I don't know where to put it. Is it, is it possible to plant a tree here and it would still be okay even if it's right next to a fence? Like, could I like line the fence with fruit trees? Cause I feel like that'd be kind of cute. You know what I mean? If you let it grow in a season where it doesn't fruit, you're not really missing out, true. I don't think it allows you to plant it if it won't grow. I have to look up like fruit trees again because I forget like how many spaces you need between them for them to be able to like actually grow and stuff. Okay, they require 28 days to mature. Each fruit tree must be planted in the center of a clear three by three ground area except they may be placed next to a permanent structure. Clear means free of objects, flooring, paths, train features. It also may not overlap the area of another fruit tree. Okay, so I'm guessing I can't plant it next to a fence then because that wouldn't be empty. Hmm. So I, I can't plant it right here. All right. Well, the reason I want to grow it right now is so that it will hopefully give me like one apple in fall, but I don't know. It's kind of late. Can I make the uh, tree fertilizer yet? Because I, here's the thing. I do have like, I know that I can make tree fertilizer in the future. I'm wondering if I can apply it to already growing trees or if I should hold on to this sapling until I'm able to make tree fertilizer so that way I can plant it and then fertilize it so that it will grow faster. Like I'm wondering what my option is. Maybe in with the cows. Oh wait, that could be fun. I could just have like a couple of fruit trees in there with the cows. Oh, tree fertilizer doesn't work on fruit trees. Oh my God. Okay, well then I'm just, I think I'll just plant it in with the cows. I think that's like so cute. I kind of like a little bit more of a, a rustic vibe anyways. So yeah, I'll, I'll just put it in with the little cows. I don't need to make like an orchard or anything. All right, die everyone. Oh, there's a lot of you. Lots of fiddlehead ferns in here though. I don't know what these mushrooms are. Poison mushroom? Is that from expanded? I feel like that's an expanded thing. Yeah, this is a Stardew Valley expanded area. It's basically it's supposed to be like an extension of the secret woods. Red bane berries. Okay, so yeah. Plan is to cut down wood in here and then I will go home and plant the apple tree. Hi, Olivia! I wonder what kind of fish I can get in that pond. I haven't tried fishing in here yet. They're probably just normal fish. Here we go. Wow, wait, that's a fun flower. I've never gotten that one before. And then we're almost to fall. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're going to have so much stress trying to plan all of our fall crops. 
I have to see what we need in the bundles and stuff. We got a dwarf scroll though, that's good. I don't think I have that one. I think I have number three. Olivia, you're being so cute. Let me see if I can turn on her camera. Olivia, do a flip. Thank goodness I have a bigger inventory now. This area is so cool, isn't it? I really like how peaceful it is in the music. Olivia. Oh, she jumped up to the top of the tree. I think it's a fungus, the one that smells bad. This flower? I do think it does smell bad, right? Like, it reminds me of Bulbasaur. My dog ran into my room, shook all over me, and then ran out. Oh my gosh. That's cute. Alright, it's getting dark. So I'm gonna head home. I got a lot of hardwood today. I got 31. Cozy. It's a flower that smells like rotting flesh to attract flies that pollinate it. Oh my god. Not, not willingly smelling like rotting flesh. No, -uh, not for me. She got your bed all dirty. Oh no. I just noticed you can fish stuff out of the fountain in front of the community center. Oh really? Oh my gosh, you know what I realized? We haven't found any of those mystery boxes that got scattered everywhere yet. I'm gonna have to keep our eyes peeled. I'm watching you. A corpse flower. Why is Olivia out here so late? Hello? Hello, dear. What do you think of my new earrings? I ordered these in the mail from Sautin City. Okay. What are you doing out here so late? I guess I won't question it. We found one in the mines. Oh my god! Fun, fun. Not me thinking you were asking your cat why she was out so late. Okay, I'm gonna put the apple tree like right here. That is so, so cute. It's gonna grow up and be so adorable. All right, let's go ahead and Unload our fruits of the forest that we found today. A delightful snack for birds, but not for humans. Noted. I will not be eating that. Expels a foul odor that attracts insects. Okay, you guys were right. Keep some of those poison mushrooms for now. And then I got some slimes, and then I forgot one more mushroom. Mahogany seed. Wait, no, that's not the seed chest. Mahogany seed. Oh yeah, I already have nine pumpkin seeds. I have to remember that. Okay. Fern baby is here for all your plant fag needs. Perfect. All right. Decent work today, team. Decent work. I guess tomorrow is going to be like a autumn stream. It'll be nice. I also want to buy... Um... <gasps> oh my god! I got a mystery box. Oh, 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 a blacksmith can open this for you. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to bed. I would like to go to the blacksmith now. Wait, that was so exciting. It just fell out of the tree. 
That was so unexpected. <gasps> I love loot boxes. I don't know why a blacksmith can open it versus like anyone else though. Like, what do you mean a blacksmith? Clint's is, wait, Clint is closed on Friday? Are you freaking serious? Of course this would happen to me. I can't believe this. Wait, what did I make so much money on? I made 10,000 gold. Oh yeah, oh my God, all my melons. That's what it was. Jeez Louise. I discovered the spa today and I love that it changes you into a swimsuit and you can swim in the hot pool. It makes you go red. I love all the details. Yeah, it also gives you energy back. Oh, Clint is not closed on Friday until you complete the community center. <gasps> okay, thank goodness. I will be going. Also, it's supposed to be a thunderstorm today. Tomorrow it's supposed to storm as well. And the spirits are very happy. You know what that means. We're going mining. Mining. We yearn. You're feeling the yearn now, chat? Any yearners? Oh, you're fine. Don't worry. I like your shirt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Let me grab all of this. I hope that my lightning rod, like why are my lightning rods not pulsing? Like, aren't they supposed to pulse on a stormy day? You're just leaving the mines yourself. You missed your moonlight jellies? Oh my god, no. Uh, that's the worst. I think I am gonna like make some grass though for my cows. They pulse after they've been struck by lightning? Okay. It's probably just too early. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. I just saw the lightning strike hit. Oh. We need a Rish Mine emote. <laughs> Rish Mine. Will the grass grow on, um, like grass? I guess is what I'm trying to ask. Here we go. Just don't sleep on a lightning day, otherwise they might not get hit. Got it. You've got it. Okay. All right, done taking care of the animals today. So we're gonna go to Clint's and open up our mystery box and then we're gonna go to the mines. Oh, I should also probably have Gunther look at this artifact too. That'd be a good, good thing to do. Okay. It's mine time. I, this is my first ever mystery box. So I literally have no idea what could be inside it. No idea. But this is very exciting for me. Okay, town. Hello, Clint. Here we go. Please open the mystery box. Spaghetti?
that was not um, very exciting. So. Oh, hi, Penny. I was definitely not about to go look in that trash can right there. Well, it's not even mom's spaghetti. It's just ugly, gross mystery spaghetti. <laughs> Nothing to see here, Penny. I haven't found the trash can hat yet. I don't know how easy it is to find it. Find it because I haven't been able to find it at all. All right, we're on floor 100. What could go wrong? I think we have a high chance of making it to the end of the mine today. There's 120 floors. The odds are in our favor. Got a little mushroom level. Oh, better luck on the day that spirits are displeased. Gotcha. I just don't even know like what percentage of a chance it is to get the trash can hat. Hey, welcome back Ooh, really ladders like straight away well fingers crossed goodbye just what you've experienced <gasps> broccoli Broccoli seeds. Oh, this is thrilling. I've never had broccoli before. That must be a new crop for the fall season. I bet I'm going to need that for a bundle, right? Yeah, broccoli. Sick. How long do they take to grow? Eight days. Well, got me some broccoli. There's like a treasure trove over here, so I'm going to go... Say hello. Broggle. Okay, nothing too great. There we go. Hi Tiki, how are you? I did not know broccoli was a flower, no. Can't say I did know that. I just ate the spaghetti. Just gonna get all these boxes. causing a flare for you today i'm sorry that's no fun yeah the weather's causing us a lot of issues too so i feel that can you stop don't be rude give me two diamonds do it do it yes very good I was not expecting that. Okay, I definitely need to eat something. Hoping to relax and watch Twitch all night? Yeah, definitely makes sense. Oh, I just realized Olivia left her cat tree. Okay. We're on floor 107, by the way. So we might be able to make it. If we get lucky. Oh, I see a ladder all the way on the other side of this, so I'm just going to make my way over there. Missing cat report. 
She's a. Uh, I think she's scared. I'm not sure if the person is here who's gonna help us with our flooding issue or not, but if they are here, that would explain why she's kind of hiding. Oh, have you not seen the mayo drinking yet? Yeah, I chug mayo every day. All day, every day. It's what keeps me alive in the mines. Ow. Don't be rude. Alright, this is floor 109. Here we go. I'm just gonna go to 110. Yippee! Face boots! Hi, Christine. How are you? Much better. Egg smoothie. I, every day I'm gonna be reminded of the egg smoothie. Something I dread. All right, nine more levels. I don't know if we'll make it today, but we'll at least, we'll at least be close. New ideas to sleep on. Leveled up my combat, let's go. So much better now that you're home from work and you can farm, I feel that. I feel like as a society right now in this community, we're all like no thoughts, only farming. That's all we can think about. Hey, don't be rude. Oh, I see a huge copper node over there. I actually need copper. Yeah, don't mind if I do. can't even reach me. Farm is life. <laughs> the skull cavern scares you? Rightfully slow. So like the skull cavern is really, um, really intense. Also, I don't have to rush home really until like 1am because I have the minecarts now, which is super nice. go. 113. Oof. We get all the goodies. Do I have any bombs on me? Did I make any bombs? I'm gonna make... Oh, I do have a bomb on me. There we go. Easy. Oh, you're good. Diamonds. This has been a really lucky day in the mines. There we go. <gasps> Mystery box! Oh my god. It better be something more exciting than spaghetti or I'm gonna have some words. If it's spaghetti again, I'm gonna be fighting someone. Fitzy, thank you. Yeah, I hope so too. I don't want to go down there, really. And my first mystery box was freaking spaghetti. Ah. Bro, just die already. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm actually gonna die. Drink some mayonnaise. You'll be fine, sweetie. I'm tired of you. A oh, ladder. I'll take that. Made it to 95. Or sorry, floor 115. Why did I say 95? <laughs> That's not even close. 
Yours was lobster bisque, so you were late. Oh my god, if I would have got lobster bisque, I feel like I would not have heard the end of it. So thank goodness that did not happen to me. Okay, I literally don't know why you did that. That was really mean. That would have been so hilarious. It would have been something. Oh my god, I'm so close to the bottom of the mines, you guys. So freaking close. We're at 117. The last floor is 120, but like it's getting late. I have the mine carts. I feel comfortable staying until like 1 a.m. Two more floors. It's not gonna go well if I have like little guys on me all the time though. Oh, there's a ladder over there. Oh, but this guy has a star. I have to kill him. There we go, there we go. Die, 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 die. I don't know what that is. That's way better than I have. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Hi, you need something? <laughs> yeah, I'm in my inventory right now fighting for my life on 119. Oh, are you in here on your own? Yeah. Okay. I got pricing. Oh, okay. Where are you? Oh, sorry, I was muted. I was just screaming that I made it to the bottom of the cavern. <laughs> Thank you guys for waiting. Okay. Wait, was I not muted when I was talking to Tony then? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. There we go. Down. No. Bus stop. Running, 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 running. I was? Okay. Weird, I must have clicked the button and it didn't like work. Anyways, you guys didn't miss anything. I was just screaming about how um how I was excited to be at the bottom of Skull Cavern, so don't worry. <laughs> Nothing was missed. Okay. Perfect! Yippee, yippee! This is an exciting day. We made it to the bottom. Um I got another mystery box, too. I think that's the thing I'm most excited about. Slimes. And just put everything where it belongs. Got some more rocks. That's always good. And I got another Dwarf Scroll 3. So I know I don't need that again. <laughs> Crab. I have so many weapons to sell. I really need to just take a day and go sell all my weapons to the weapons guy. I did. I our, I haven't seen the short of her getting attacked by the pants yet, but um, I got attacked by the pants. It was quite quite a time. Also, I have the uh, steel falchion, so hopefully I won't be getting wrecked in the mines as much as I was. Because I have a better sword now. Goodbye, bone sword. You served me until the literal bottom of the, the mines. Oh, seven. Okay. Woohoo! Um, I can now make a slime egg press. I made so much progress and it's only summer. Don't worry, I'm gonna be playing again tomorrow, like all day, so. Um, also the person fixing our sump pump is here and yeah, like the entire pump is broken. 
um, which is why our bedroom is flooding. So I'm really glad that that's the problem and the problem was found and it's not like some kind of weird obscure mystery. <gasps> no, one of my blueberry. Oh my God, some of my plants got struck by lightning, you guys. Oh no. Also, this is a bad spot for this. <gasps> oh no. Okay, at least it's like almost the last day of summer, but like, do I need to make more lightning rods, do you think? Because like, it's kind of crazy. So sad. I feel like maybe I should make some more lightning rods. Okay, there we go. Made some row. Aged minnow row, only $80 for that. Yeah, I would not pay that much for minnow row either. So I don't blame you. Oh my God, Steven's also playing Stardew, nice. Okay, what's up? Tired. Oh, you just want a hug? Yeah. I know. Today's been a lot. Yeah, um, I did check on playing. Um, it hasn't moved too much. So, yeah. Thankfully, um, I did. There are some spots like by the uh, utility room, like laundry room. Mm -hmm. There's like a spot there that I, I felt some wetness. But yeah. Is anything over by your? Computer desk? I checked, I didn't, I didn't feel anything, but... Yeah. yeah. Well... We want a new carpet down there anyways. Yep. Um, but I'm gonna see about what I can do about... You know, like... Vacuum up some of the... Moisture. Vacuum it up? Yeah. How? I mean, like, you just take the vacuum. Like, a, there's certain vacuums that like, vacuum up the entire carpet. To help dry it out. Oh. So try to avoid as much like, molding as possible. Yeah, we definitely don't want molding. Okay. Yeah, so fun. At least he's he's able to fix it today, right? Yeah, it'll be about an hour now. And uh, what he's doing is he's it's installing fine. the basic one for today, because that's all he has right now. Yeah, and then he'll just bring one back. Okay, yeah, just my main concern is like, not allowing it to spread any more than it has. So yeah. as long as we're able to stop that, then yep. I'm not stressed. Okay. Yeah. I'll be getting off uh, at the end of the season. I'm on day 27, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end stream on probably, I'll probably actually end stream before the first day of fall. Um, so that way tomorrow we can do all of the, uh, scurrying around for our lives, trying to, like, plan the farm and stuff. Um, maybe I'll just put this here for now. Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being, like, so, um, like, just chill through this whole thing, because I know we've been having a lot of interruptions during today's stream, and usually I try to not have, like, any stream interruptions so thank you all for being um just really nice and really really chill okay i need to make some more we're gonna make some more uh lightning rods today that's what i want to do yeah life happens that will be so much fun tomorrow i know right and it sucks because it's like in our bedroom, so like, <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Sleep on the couch? Um, thankfully, Tony's parents said we could come spend the night there if we need to. Yeah, I'm glad the issue was found too. Thank goodness, honestly. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go open up our mystery box and then go to the secret woods. I think that's my path for today because I love loot boxes. So, oh my gosh. Yeah. Enjoy your gift sub. There were a couple of very kind, uh, people doing gift subs earlier today. It was very, very sweet of everyone. 
Okay, yeah, I'll make a couple more lightning rods. I don't think there's as many thunderstorms in fall, but I still want to be prepared. I can't even remember if there are any thunderstorms in fall or if it's just a summer thing. But Hello, Clint. I'm back. Give me something good. All right. I'm no longer excited to open those boxes. Dang it, Penny, you're outside again. I had a lot of them. A lot of the mystery boxes or wait, sorry. Are you answering my thunder question? Like you had a lot of thunderstorm days in fall. I also don't know if I'm supposed to be like spreading out the lightning rods like all over my farm versus like having them in one spot. Um, not really sure about that. So. Oh, you had like nine or ten days in a row or in total. Okay. So then, yeah, it is probably good that I'm building these extra lightning rods while I can. Will do. Don't think it matters for functionality purposes. Okay. All right, let's go cut some wood. I'm trying to get hardwood so that I can get my horse. I feel like that's very important to me right now. And then another thing I need to look up is if long grass can grow on like grass now and not just dirt. Cause like I'm seeing it growing all over town. So it should be able to spread on the grass now, right? I heard let's pet some wood. Oh my God. <laughs> Also, I deserve a little treat. I'm going to go say hello to the hat mouse. Because it's been a long day. I put them in a row so I could harvest all of them before. Yeah, that makes sense. I could get the official cap. It looks like a postman cap. Or a policeman. Never mind. I'm not a cop. I already have the daisy. Do I just haven't worn it yet? Oh, I just haven't worn it yet. I would like to get like the, um, I think I have to befriend Emily a bit more. Get the sewing machine recipe because making clothes in Stardew Valley is like so fun. I love the bows, right? Aren't they cute? Okay, let's go up to the secret woods. I also really like the uh, blue tropical clip. I've never done that before. Oh my God. Making clothes in Stardew Valley is an addiction. Like I will literally like put my entire day into making clothes and like save so many things for it. Thank you, just need to get a cloth. I got access to the sewing machine when I got a cloth and never talked to Emily. Oh, okay. Well, for that, I would need to upgrade my barn, which, you know, I do have enough money to really consider upgrading my barn and my coop. I think I just need the resources. I've just been really low on resources, so I need to spend a couple days just like cutting down wood and gathering stone, which... Now that I'm at the bottom of the mines, I can put more effort into that. Put them into preserve jars. Got it, I'll have to do that. Ooh, a lucky clover. Said to bring good luck makes for a nice gift. I've never gotten a four leaf clover before. Huh. I go bonkers with hoarding for sewing. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, because it's like you never know what you're going to get. I 
If you have a recycler, soggy newspaper has a good chance of getting cloth. Okay, I don't have a recycler yet, but I think... Do I have the recipe for it? I could make one. I feel like once Megan make, can make clothes, we will lose her to this game forever. <laughs> Bye, Megan. The clover is expanded. Gotcha. Okay. Can you guys hear any of the, um, noise happening in the house? I'm kind of hoping that it's so quiet that you guys can't hear it. You cannot? Okay. Sick! That's good. Thankfully, like, the pump is under our stairs, so it's, like, a little bit tucked away sound won't carry very far, but. Perfect. Good to know. Gosh. <laughs> days like today are days that I'm just like, so thankful to have y'all as my community because my goodness. People like I could cry today at anything and y'all are just so nice. <laughs> so thank you. I'm very fragile today. We all have days where we're fragile, but very much so today. I think if it weren't for Violet as well, I probably would have started crying. <laughs> Trying to figure out the Stardew Valley mod stuff. If Violet wasn't there, I would have just been like, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> Oh, really? That means a lot, Luke. I'm really glad. It takes so much strength to say you're fragile, too. It does. <laughs> Thank you, besties. Okay. Yeah, good thing we, we are a bunch of chill people, huh? I'm just gonna go around collecting rocks for now. Or maybe, should I, should I look up how much it costs to upgrade the coop really quick and see what I should be focusing on? I can never remember. I do want to upgrade the coop first. So a big coop is, oh boy, 400 wood, 150 stone, and 10,000 gold. So surprisingly, I have the gold before I have the other resources, so... Yeah, I just spent all of my stone on the fishing pond. Maybe I should upgrade some of my tools too. I still have copper tools. I would really like to get at least an iron pickaxe and an iron axe, maybe. So I can start clearing out some of these like big chonkers. Yeah. I do not love lobsters. What do you mean? What do you mean? That is false information. So true, Venaria. I'm just glad you all understand it. Love you guys. Ooh, brownie sounds good. After stream, I am probably going to go downstairs and... Um, let's see if I can do anything to help. I just know that whenever things like this happen in real life for me, I'm not great to, like, I, I feel like I'm not helpful because I just ask a bajillion questions and that could be really annoying and I worry. I think the best thing for me to do was to stay on my computer. Oh my goodness. Aw, oh, thank you. Yeah, your grandma's a smart lady. 
All right. How much wood do I have? Okay, I have enough wood. So I need 150 stone to upgrade the coop. Yeah. We can work on that. Um, here we go. Distraction and serotonin, yep. That's my strategy. I just want to stay out of the way. I feel bad for the guy down there, though, because we keep our cat litter in that room, so it does kind of smell a little bit like poop. So... You know how cat litter is. Okay, I just learned the tree fertilizer. That's what I was looking for. It sucks that you can't do that on fruit trees though. I feel like that's dumb. Like a fruit tree is a tree. All I need for the bridge repair is a snow yam and holly from winter. Let's go. I'm actually really close to, um... oh yeah, I could put a pale ale in here. How do you make juice? Is there a juicer now? And mead. I should look in how to make mead. Because I feel like I could finish this greenhouse bundle really soon. Like in fall, we can we can get the greenhouse repaired. Yeah. Pretty easily. Mead is honey. Oh my gosh, that's exciting, Inez. Yeah, so true, Beth, so true. Oh, you need powder melon juice in the keg? Okay. All right. I feel like it's very reasonable for us to be able to complete the greenhouse, though, um, in fall. So I'm going to aim for that. Oh, you got the 500 sap bundle, too? Yeah, it's just not great. <laughs> like, sap is pretty easy to get, but, like, I don't want to spend, like, all my sap on that, right? Okay, I got invited to see the, um, what's it called? Moonlight Jellies. So many batteries today. All right, I'm not going to bother watering these because they're just going to die. Thank you for your service, tomatoes. be cool if I, I can make iridium sprinklers but I just don't have iridium bars but like I could put iridium sprinklers in those plots pretty easily you already finished your community center oh my gosh that's impressive also the sea cucumbers have done the duty they decided to breed What's everyone's best tip when it comes to Stardew? Help a fella out. <laughs> Number one thing you wish you knew when you started playing Stardew Valley. Mm. I'm trying to think. Always check the community bundles to help decide what you're going to plant that season. That would be my tip. So you can like plan ahead and get the rewards and stuff. And have no regrets. Keep at least one of everything. That too. Hoarding is okay. For you is to build a chest. Oh my gosh. Take it one day at a time. 
Don't do it all in one year. There's always next year. All right. I got lucky. I got another coffee bean harvest. Hello, Moo Moo's. You ready to be milked? Yeah, I'm pretty rich right now, not to brag. <laughs> I just need to gather uh, some stone and I can go upgrade my coop, but it's a holiday today, so it's going to be a couple days before I can upgrade the coop. I love the wiki. Yes, the Stardew wiki is like the Bible. Oh no, you accidentally gave Pierre algae when he asked for seaweed. Or no, instead of seaweed. Oh no. That sucks. Yeah, I mean, I'd be mad too. Uh, I use she, her pronouns. All right. So I'm just gonna go to the mines today then. And just gather stone until... Um, it's time to go to the Moonlight Jellies, which I think is at 10 p.m. So, lots of time. I guess I should go this way. Oh, that's a great tip, Rubber Band. Yeah. That is a great tip. I was so excited. I get to go see the Moonlight Jellies in-game. And then IRL, I get to go see the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. in a couple of months. Gathering some stone. I need 150 to buy an upgraded coop. Do I want an upgraded coop first or an upgraded barn? I feel like I kind of feel like I might want to barn more because I don't really need ducks right now, you know? I didn't know you could shake bushes for berries until year two. Oh no. I don't know. What do you guys normally do? Do you normally get the uh, barn first or the coop upgrade? Because if I upgrade my barn, I can get sheep. Barn for pigs. Yeah, it's one step closer to pigs, right? Oh, wait, that's so fun. I love that you're decorating your, your farm now. Happy to inspire. Yeah, truffles are where the money is. That is true. Upgrade the coop once for ducks and then the barn for pigs. Well, I'd actually have to upgrade the barn like twice for pigs. So I'm thinking the option is either ducks or sheep and I kind of prefer sheep. Sheep before ducks. I only have the first level, you guys. So I can't get rabbits or, or pigs yet. Goats are the big barn. Oh, sheep are the deluxe barn too. Oh, I thought sheep came in the second level. No, no. Oh, I'll look at the difference of the price. Yeah, you can turn sheep wool into fabric. You can also turn rabbit wool into fabric, so. Dang it. Decisions, decisions. The 
least I'm getting a lot of rocks. Yeah, I don't know. It's a hard, a hard decision to make. I'm not cut out for this. Ooh, lots of copper. I was needing some copper. Yeah, someone else mentioned using the recycler on the newspaper. I still need to make a recycler, but I think I have enough stuff for it. So I should probably do that as well. I totally forgot. stones I think I have enough now so that means I could go buy the upgraded barn or coop tomorrow but I know tomorrow I'm going to be like planning but I guess since I already have like the layout decided it might be a little bit easier like I might have more time instead of spending all day like planting stuff it's like, first day of summer, I had like nothing to go off of, so I, I had to start from scratch. But now, now I know. I'm gonna need, let's see. I'm gonna need corn, and I need five gold corn. So I definitely need fertilizer for all of that. Um, eggplants and yams and broccoli. I have three broccoli seeds so far, so I won't be able to do like a full plot like I was able to do for summer squash. Hmm. So I'll have to find something else to put in there. Okay, I'm going to go home and then get ready to go to the um, Moonlight Jelly Festival. And then we'll be ready for fall and it'll be good. We'll, we'll start fall tomorrow. I, I will like start my stream, be really excited and then realize what I have done and that I have the daunting task of setting up my farm for autumn when I open my stream and be like, why did I do this to myself? <laughs> I think that's a great idea. It's, it's a problem for future Shella, as I always say. Luck, you know? Perfect. Wait, hold on. I might have enough white algae now. I can't remember if I kept the other four in here. No, I do not, okay. I also literally keep forgetting that I have a mushroom cave. I need, you know what I think I need to do to remember this? I think I need to like make a path going down here because every day I forget that I have this. And I could be getting so many more mushrooms from this if I just remembered. Very easy. It just feels like so out of the way compared to other farms in the caves, maybe. Maybe that's why it's so difficult. There we go. I can make another mushroom bundle. And the dehydrator. Okay. You're so welcome. Happy to help. Happy to help remind you about the mushroom cave. I think I want to make like a stone path, but I want to buy the uh, stepping stone. So I'll have to get that from Robin on another day. I'm going to go to the Moonlight Jelly Festival. Oh, and I have to bring Demetrius a melon. I keep forgetting about that too. Coming, Demetrius. Sorry. Oh, yeah. And what do I need for the brewing bundle? Ale, ale, mead. Okay, so for mead, I need honey. I can't get green tea yet. I need to keep befriending Caroline. 
But at least I have a pale ale for the bundle. The to-do list mod is really great. Oh, what is that? What is that mod? I remember I have the cave because I have the to-do list mod installed. Hold on. You guys need to tell me what this to-do list mod is. Because <laughs> I, I don't have it. Alright, just me and my melon going to the Moonlight Jellies. Nothing to see here. We'll have to look into that one. I'm also just gonna dig in some trash cans. Yeah, it does sound like an amazing mod. You can add stuff to a list and it's an overlay. Oh. Make a list of things you want to do and they aren't in your brain and you don't forget stuff. Okay. Copy that. I'll be getting that mod then. <laughs> oh, I'm a little early. Yeah, I could do my, like, reoccurring tasks, like, the mushroom cave is definitely one of them. Same, same, Dawn. I always do that. Like, I just forgot that I need to make a, a recycler again, which I think I can make, but I'm not home anymore. Yeah, I can make a recycler. What the heck, Shella? All right. Almost there. Let's go! Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. This is my favorite festival, I think. I'll sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. Oh, Linus! Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to those blasted mosquitoes. I can see just fine back here. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden. Perhaps you're blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. Yeah, that's that's definitely it. That's smart, Hufflepuff. Past my bedtime. The moonlight jelly. What a remarkable species. We're very lucky they stop here on their long journey south. Kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. Don't talk to me about cold. <laughs> I'm paying my respects to another bygone summer. I never used to be able to find Leah at this festival because of her just going to the end of the dock. I was like, where is she? Where is my girl? What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. I'm awfully afraid of large bodies of wadi water, so I will be here on the beach where it's safe. The jellyfish are so pretty. I love watching them every year. I don't know if I can give him the melon. I don't think so, because I don't have my inventory down here. Heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'll stay over here near the beach. I can't believe summer is over. I feel like it just started. The jellies were here a year ago. They'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. I hope there are babies this year. There, I saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. Look out there at the endless sea. Deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? The sky is clear tonight. A flawless backdrop of moonlight for the jellies, wouldn't you say, Shella? These moonlight jellies travel here all the way from across the world. They were at Fern Islands just a few months ago. I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. If we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already happening. Oh no. Hi, Naomi. Hi, Jess. How are y'all? Welcome in. Most night fish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. Welcome in, everyone. Gonna take a picture of the jellies when they arrive. 
If these jellies don't show in the next 10 minutes, I'm getting out of here. Wasting my evening. Okay, bud. Wait, there's a shop? These candles are romantic, aren't they? <gasps> Cloud decal? Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna get some moonlight jelly banners. And the cloud decal. Yeah, that's good enough. Hi, Miv. Good to see you. <laughs> How are you doing? Don't tell Gus. I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. Moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. Oh my god, what? Life is so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. I want to see the rare green jelly. thought I saw something moving. Something big. I wonder if they're poisonous. Rare and exciting thing. Oh, to be a jellyfish. Have fun! You're going to the final area of Baldur's Gate. I love that for you. Here we go. Let's launch the boat. Say goodbye to the summer, everyone. Goodbye, summer. I can't wait to see this live. It is so pretty. I need to get a screenshot. You wish it were summer? Definitely doesn't feel like summer where I'm at. It is snowing. Yeah, this is going to be so great live. This is like my favorite festival too. It's just so peaceful. Look at the babies! And the rare green one. Yeah, I like that they interact during the cutscenes. That's really cute. So cute! Oh, you didn't miss much, Olive. <laughs> Spent a lot of time troubleshooting today. What a fun festival. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Dun dun dun! All right, everybody, say goodbye to the summer farm. When we wake up in the morning, it's gonna be autumn. And we're gonna have to be ready to get things together Begin building all that fun stuff. I should make another chest really quick. Um, maybe I'll make this like a food chest. No, usually I put that food in my refrigerator. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'll just put a chest here. I don't know what I want to do with it yet. All right. Love the layout of your farm. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this is what I got so far. We'll have to plan the fall crops tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night, kitty. Perfect. Oof. All right. Didn't make too much money, but I mean, we're really rich right now, so it's whatever. I'm going to try to upgrade our barn. Fall year one. Let's go. <laughs> All right. And before we get started with that, that's going to be where we end today's stream because I'm going to be here tomorrow and we're going to play this tomorrow. So tomorrow we get to look forward to setting up everything for fall, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully you all are too. 
yeah see you tomorrow guys thank you for hanging out with me today i know that today was a little bit hectic and i appreciate y'all being like so so nice during all of it um yeah hopefully i have good news to report tomorrow hopefully we can stay here tonight and yeah it would suck if i had to go somewhere else to sleep tonight but well we'll have to see um regardless thank you guys so much sorry for all of like the mod issues and everything um and yeah i'll be here tomorrow um there's a chance i might go live a little bit early uh we'll just have to see how things shake out tomorrow i'm not fully sure what's gonna what the vibes are gonna be but uh if you did enjoy this stream don't forget to hit that follow button so that you are aware when i'm live next time um or you can join my discord server i always do like a little discord announcement when i go live um feel free to also check out my youtube channel for more content i am going to start uploading these stardew valley vods very soon so stay tuned for that and yeah just thank you guys for all of the support during all this thank you so much for helping us re our meet our sub goal today um that's crazy i super super appreciate it and uh yeah i'll be here tomorrow 5 p.m eastern playing some more stardew valley so let's go ahead and find someone to rate shall we Find someone to raid, shall we? <laughs> yeah, see you guys tomorrow. All right. Um, got a couple of people playing Stardew Valley today. Um, so many people actually on my friends list playing Stardew Valley. Um, hmm. Let's see. I think. Do you guys want to go say hi to to Steven Spring Sims? Would would that be cool with y'all? It looks like he is in spring year one right now. So he's kind of like towards the beginning of his playthrough. So there won't be any like spoilers for us if we go there. Wanna go say hi to Spring Sims? I love him. He's one of my besties, but he's also my enemy. Um, so yeah, let's let's go say hello and yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you all a lot. Thank you again for being just so sweet to me and dealing with all these issues and everything. Uh, hopefully tomorrow is a better, less chaotic day. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to starting the fall season with you guys. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.